basically i have one doubt uh, so. this meeting is being recorded so previously okay so today we will be discussing about the lds lightning design system in lwc okay so in lightning design system mostly we will be using the public variables public variables is nothing but which can be accessed outside whether we implement form based which is nothing but a view form edit form record form whatever the form based if i use i have to declare a public variable in javascript public variable is nothing but can be accessed outside of the component that means if i'm declaring anything in the component if i wanted to pass it to the another component this can be passed so this public variable can be accessed outside the component as well so today we'll see the uh, form based lds how to create a view form edit form and record view form so far we have seen private declaration like whenever we wanted to get the information at the rate track we have used right or i can use at the rate track or i need not to use that by default it will take it as a private but if you wanted to make it as a public we have to declare it as a at the rate api decorator so when it's if the requirement is like whenever you want the value or you want the variable to be available outside uh, the another component so in that case what we can do is we can declare this public variable and we can use that so let's see today the first thing we will see is record view form control shift p create a lightning web component lwc underscore 1402 underscore this is the lds record view form yes that is the directory okay so before we come into the javascript let's go to the html uh we are going to use the record view form so record view form is nothing but only to view the data not for editing or not for uh, input customer input it's only for viewing the data so what we can do is let's add the lightning card title equals to let's say that lightning record view form lightning record view form let's close okay so inside this card let's use the record view form how to use the record view form we have a predefined lightning hyphen record here it is all the options will be available here so record view form in record view form what are the things that i need to enter if you go to the component library it will tell all the information what are the mandatory so here aura will be there as well as the lwc also will be there if you go to the lwc lightning record form you can directly let me search it here see record view form so 
So in record view form, the mandatory fields are object API name and object field name. Oh, sorry, object API name and record ID. Right, record ID is automatically we can take it. So let's go ahead. In object record view form, let's keep the record ID. So record ID is always automatically will get the values. So it has to be record ID. So this is auto, uh, what I can say, auto populate or auto pulling the data from the sales force. If you write something here, object ID, then you need to pass it. So record ID is by default, by looking at that uh, variable name record ID, it, will, it is going to capture the data. And then what else I need? Object API name. Object API name, let's say account. Now, this is the record view form. Outer form is done. Now, inside this, I have to put the lightning output fields. I cannot put lightning input fields because record view form is only for viewing the one. If I put input field, it doesn't make any sense. So I have to use the lightning output field. So let's say that field name, uh, inside the account, I have a name right and then close it let's take another three fields name form <clears throat> facts okay these are the three things now i have saved it out of this structure only one thing i have which is the record id so what I'll do, I'll simply go to the JavaScript for now. How to declare this JavaScript? This is the record ID. Record ID, we have to just simply say record ID. That's it. Okay. So right now, let's pass the record ID hard-coded value. Let me go to the Salesforce. Switch to lightning. Account. Let's take anything. Uh, let's assume that this is the ID. Okay. This has the name and the phone number and fax is there, okay. So let me take this ID, right? So what we have done, lightning record view form is basically we have declared the lightning hyphen record hyphen view hyphen form, right? And uh, in this only two are mandatory, which is a record ID and object API name. So for record ID by default, we have to give the record ID and for object name, we have to mention the object name. And whatever we are mentioning here, record ID that has to be declared here. Right now we are hard coding it. Let's see how it displays in the... Let's copy the lightning component name, control shift P. Deploy this to source arc. It's deploying to. Hope it deployed to the my correct arc. Um, developer console. C colon. LWC component name, let's save it. 
preview. Lightning record view form. It is showing the account name, account phone, account fax, right? Now, instead of hard coding it, instead of hard coding it, how to pass it? In Lightning Aura, what we used to do in order to take the record ID by default from Salesforce, we used to write the interface called force colon has record ID, right? When I implement SQL to force colon hash record ID, the record ID value is automatically it will get, right? So same thing how to implement here. Right now record ID is local variable that we have declared it and we have hard coded it, right? So instead of this, so let's take out this. And instead of local, it has to be API. API record ID. What is the API decorator means? It is a public variable. API decorator at the rate API is nothing but a, we are declaring the public variable that can be accessed by anywhere. Now, when I say at the rate API, why it is giving the error? Because I have to declare, I have to import the API first. When I import the API, then the decorators will be accessed automatically. Now, this is the first thing. I have to make the record ID hard coded. So, sorry, I have to make the record ID at the rate API, public variable. I have to declare it as a public variable. And the second thing, this is the attribute declaration. But force colon has record ID where we have to do, we have to go to the meta. We have to go to the meta. The first thing we have to say is exposed equal to true. Is exposed equal to true. Now, inside this, the implementation part that we are going to implement here, target. Right? So the targets are so for example, let's say target lightning app page. What is the lightning app page? File, new lightning component. So lightning app page is nothing but lightning page. In our lightning page. So it will be available to create a page. And also we have a target. And then we need a record page. Record page is nothing but lightning record page. Record page is nothing but lightning record page in our app. And then also if you go to the target home page. So which is nothing but lightning tab. So like that we have a different, different for the quick action builder site. So when, when you click and create a new thing, it automatically comes up with a, so it automatically creates the implements equal to ports colon app postable available for all pages, available for record home has record ID and it will make it as a global access. So same thing we are doing it here. I am implementing the interface here inside the targets, right? So first thing I have exposed this to true. That means I wanted to pull this into the Salesforce. Now the where to pull, where to put it, the targets is going to decide it. So based on the target, whatever we declare it, uh, <clears throat> it is going to, available in those pages. So right now we are exposed this. Okay, now I have the record page view and at the rate API record. Now let me go to the Salesforce. So this is the account edit page. Let me put the component on the account 
Lightning page. LWC LDS record view pop. Okay. So do I have a LDS record view form? No, I have not deployed it, so it will not be available. Control shift P, deploy this source to org. Okay, it's deployed. Let's refresh. LDS record view form. See, it is available right now. So I can drag it and place it here. Okay, it is displaying. What flexi component? I do not need this flexi component. Let me put LDS. Okay. Save. Activate. Okay. So let me go back. See, the account name or the record ID is auto captured from the Salesforce URL. And it is displaying the name and the phone number. And we have a fax, account fax is available, right? And if you see the, if you know the compact and comfy, if you know this thing, so Lightning LDS is smart enough to put it in the whatever the Salesforce display is there, whether it is a compact or comfy based on that it will display. So if I, if I show it here outside of the Salesforce, like I'm displaying in the app, Lightning app. So when I display in the Lightning app, it displays in compact mode. But here I have a comfy mode. So that's the reason auto adjusted automatically. Now this is the record form. We cannot edit, we cannot do anything just for the view purpose. Now let me do same thing for edit form. Control shift P, LWC. Oh, sorry, create a lightning web component. LWC, today is 16.05, record edit form. Right, yes, this is the one. Okay, it created the component bundle. Let's go to the HTML. Same thing. What we need, we need it. Let's put the lightning card. Hyphen card. And the title. Okay. Title equal to LDS. Record edit form. Let's close. Okay, so the plan is to implement the edit form. So for the edit form, we have a lightning hyphen record edit form, right? So what are the mandatory fields for the lightning record edit form? What are the mandatory fields? Let's go to the specification. Only the object API name is mandatory. And it should be the record ID also mandatory, but I don't know. They have not mentioned. Uh, same record ID and object API name is mandatory. So let's use the record ID. 
equal to record ID. And this is a case sensitive. If, if you put small i, it doesn't work. So make sure you use the record is a small and i is capital D is small. So record ID object hyphen API name. Why it is not showing? API name. Okay, equal to let's use it for contact record. Now inside this record edit form, let's edit the couple of fields. So for editing, I'll use the lightning input. Lightning hyphen input field. Let me take the field name. Field name equal to first name. It has to be same API name. So let's take another two. Right, first name, last name. And email. Okay. Let's save this. And also let's add one more button. Let's say that if you enter anything or update any data, and when you click on the button, reload the original value. For example, in the first name, I have a Swapna. Okay. I'm changing Swapna to something else. And when, as soon as I click on the button, it should reload the original value from the new value. So that is the concept. So let's put the lightning button. Lightning hyphen button. Right, and the label equal to uh, reload. Okay, and then on click, on click of this, I wanted to call reload. Maybe. Okay, now let's close this. The button. Let's put this button inside the edit form. I have a three input fields and then I'm adding the button to reload the original values. Now I have, I have to implement two things in the JavaScript. One is the public variable and another one is function, right? Let me copy this function. Let's save this. Okay. Let's go to the JavaScript. Let's declare the API, API record ID. Okay, then I have a function. In the function by default, event is the parameter. Now for the public variable, I need to add the, I need to import API. So what I wanted to do here, reload, the logic is whenever the user enters and clicks on a button, I wanted to reload the data. So first thing I need to query the input values. So this dot template dot and I have explained that uh, query selector. Right, query selector. And then I have all the input fields. So lightning hyphen input. Let me copy that. Okay, so this is, I'm going to query all the input fields. Let's store it in one variable. Const equal to 
input fields. Right. I'm storing all the values here. Now, I have it, three are there. So for each of them, I need to get it. So what I can do is input field dot for each. For each. So you can take anything here. It should be either field or element, anything you can take it. So field. And for each field, I'm going to get the, I'm going to reset it. So we have a command in the JavaScript, which is called as a reset. And now let's close that. Okay. So whatever user enters and as soon as user clicks on a re reload me, it is going to capture the values that are already there here, right? What are the original values are there will be here because here I'm not writing the value. So as soon as the user click on reload me, it will pull the, all the original values of those fields and it will put it into the field. So that's what we are doing here, field dot reset. Let's see. So I have to put this in the Salesforce. So in order to put this in the Salesforce, I have to make it as a true, right? And then I have to add targets. And inside targets, I need to add target, app page, target, record page, and then target home page. Right, now I can be access in the layout. So control shift P, deploy this source to org. Deploy, let's go to the Salesforce. Uh, let me open any account, uh, sorry, any contact. Let's say this one. And edit the page. And what is the component we have created? Recorded, record edit form, right? Yes. So let me put here, let me drag it here. Lightning record edit form, yeah. So now let's save. And then let's refresh the contact. Details. It is not refresh. Activate. As in all default desktop and phone. Next and save it. Let's refresh. Okay. Now it's showing me the details, whatever the contact is there. So for Stellar 2, I'm updating Swapna, right? And I'll click on reload. So the, what are the original value is there, it will take back. The reason is whatever the user entered, this is the edit form, okay? I'm editing it. For the edit form, submit button is automatically does not come. So I'm, I'm editing it, but I'm not submitting the data. It's not stored in the data yet. So that's the reason when I click on reload, whatever the original values are available for these input fields, I'm getting all of them, just one command, which is a reset. 
So now next thing will go on to the record form. Now we are clear with the view form, edit form. Okay, we'll go with record form. Here you will see some tricky things. Okay, let's go ahead and create it. Create a lightning web component, LWC. 1605 LDS record form. Yes. Okay, component bundle is created. By default, JavaScript will be open and let's go to the HTML template. Let's create a lightning card, type and card, and the title equal to LDS or LWC record form. Okay, now let's close this. Inside this lightning card, let's add the lightning record form. Lightning hyphen record form. Right? So what are the mandatory fields for the lightning record form? Go to the library, go to the specifications, see object API name and the record ID also it is mandatory. Okay, now I'll declare the record ID. Sorry. Okay. Record ID has to be standard record ID, right? And then I have a object API. Object API name. Let's put the opportunity. Okay, now let's use, there is another things which we have. Let's use them. Layout type. Layout type, whether it is a compact or full. Okay, let's take the layout type. Let's take full. Let's see how it displays. Layout type equal to full, and the mode should be. We have a mode also. Mode means whether it is a edit mode or view mode. Let's put it as a view mode. Same. Okay. So simple. I'm not doing. I'm not adding anything inside this. Just I'm creating the record form, record ID, opportunity and full mode will be the view. So let's declare this into the JavaScript. Public variable, this is at the rate API. Close this. In order to use that, I have to import API. Let's save this. Now I'm going to use this in the Salesforce. So I have to add targets and is exposed. So let me copy and paste it here, control Z. And now control shift P, deploy this source to org. Now let's go to the opportunity. Opportunities. Let's go to some opportunity where I have the pins. Okay, so let's go here and edit page. 
Let me pull the component here. Okay, so I have lightly LDS record form, right? Let me put it here. Right, okay. Save, activate it. Let's go back. Assign our default desktop and phone. Next, save. And let's go back. Right. So if you see here, LWC, I have not given any fields here. Right, I have not mentioned any fields. What it did is it pulled all of them because I mentioned as layout type equal to full, right? If I enter tracking number, if I edit that, there is a tracking number. Tracking number one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, something. So save and cancel button auto automatically will come because we are using the record form. For record form, we need not to separately write the save and cancel. It comes with the lightning record form. So now it is updated, one, two, three, one, two, one. Let's see here, let's go to the tracking. So here it is, it is updated automatically. So I have not written anything logic here, either in the client side or server side, I have not written anything. So simply I added the lightning record form. I use the record ID and layout type is full and the mode is view. So it is showing in the view mode as soon as I edit it, the save and cancel button is auto populated. If I click on cancel, it will cancel. The standard functionality will work on that. And in the object API name, I'm giving the opportunity, right? I need not to mention the opportunity hard coded value also. I can directly give the object name, object API name. So instead of hard coding here, Let's delete this and put the object API name. Control S. And here at the rate API, object API name, let's save it, right? So I need not to hard code the object name also. Let's see, Control Shift P, deploy this source to our It is taking time. Okay, it's done. Now let's go to the Salesforce. Okay, refresh. Let's do hard refresh. Control Shift F5. Right, I have the, by default, it is taking the object API name also. So if I edit something, I change the tracking number, I change one, 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 save. Uh, yes, it is updating the tracking number also, right? So object API name also, I need not to mention the hard coded value. I can directly use the public variable which is camel uh, format, which is object is small letters, capital A, PI small, capital N. That is good. And now lightning layout, if you look at the layout, it shows all the fields. But instead of uh, these many fields, I am only interested with only three of them. So in that case, is there a way that I can select the fields to display? Or is there, a, is there a way to show only the specific fields that I want? Yes, we can show that. So what we can do is, instead of this lightning layout, 
let's keep this the same way. Let me use another lightning card. Let's say lightning hyphen card. Title. LWC record home. So inside this, I'll use the lightning record form. Let me comment out this because it's showing the huge list of the fields. So if we add two cards, my card will be at the bottom. So let me comment out this lightning card. So I have only one card, okay. Now inside this record form, I wanted to display only the few fields. The mandatory fields are record ID anyway. So I have a record ID. Right. And then another one is object API name. Object hyphen API hyphen name. And let's use the public variable object api name right now instead of layout type equal to full i wanted to use the fields fields equal to let's use let's take some variable let's say my fields now how many are there three are there record id object api my fields Right, so let's go to the JavaScript. Okay, these are already there. So another one which I have to declare is my fields. My fields. So this is the only one we have to declare it. Now here, the thing is that how to how, how, how do we give the field name? Like in Lightning Aura, what we do is we create an array and we'll give all the API names, right? All the fields, fields API name. And we'll pass that API fields into this my fields. But here we cannot do that. Instead of doing that, what we can do is we have to declare the import how many fields that i wanted to display it those fields i have to import to the lwc so import and then let's say name field All right and from where i wanted to import from at the rate salesforce that is Salesforce. Salesforce, not logo. I just need a Salesforce slash. I do not want the LWC. What I want is from Salesforce, I wanted to go to schema. And then I wanted to go to the account. Dot my field. I have to import from at the rate Salesforce. I have to import from at the rate Salesforce slash schema slash account dot name. Unexpected token. Why it is unexpected token? Okay. Account dot name schema. Let's import the object first. Import. Let's say account object, or I can say opportunity object.
opportunity object and then from at the rate sales force at the rate sales force slash schema slash account right I don't know why it is giving me the error sales force let's see so what are the fields I count Let's take the account instead of opportunity. Okay. Now I have a name, then I need another field phone. Account dot phone. Right, I need another one. Let's take another one. which is, let's say, fax. Okay. Now I have the fields details here. What I can do is I'll set my fields equal to, I have to build the list. So one is name field. And then I have a phone field. And then I have a fax field. Right, let's say something is wrong. At the rate sales force. Expression is expected. Huh? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So it has to be in single quotes. It has to be in single quotes. So first thing we have to pull the API fields to the LWC. Then we have to import it and refer those field names here. Right, let me go ahead and remove this from the opportunity. Save, activation, close, let's go back and then I'll go to the accounts. Okay, now I'll deploy this to the org. Deploy this source to org. Okay, deployed, let's go to this account. Edit page. Lightning uh, record form, LDS record form, LDS record form, okay. Let me place it here. Right, okay. Save. Activation, close, let's go back. Refresh the screen.
See here, we have name, phone number, and fax. If I change anything in the fax, save, it will be applied to the fax, right? So in order to display only the few fields, the first thing we have to import the field. Import that particular field from which object and schema from Salesforce. So this is in order to pull the Salesforce API field. Clear? So we have covered LDS form based LDS. Okay, form based view form we have covered, edit form we have covered, record form we have covered. So here we use the public variable. These public variables, whatever we have used, it is a predefined one from the Salesforce record ID object API name. So that will be auto captured from the Salesforce whenever we drag it on the layout. Clear, so let me stop my recording.